Hey y'all, welcome back. So, I don't know what the call is reading right now, but I have been getting some downloads about um, a really crazy family secret coming out. And also somebody finding out about um, their real father versus the one that raised them. I feel like um, the person that raised them, the father figure that raised this person, was trying to cause all types of confusion so that the child would never find out who the real dad was. But this is going to be for the collective... This is going to be a collective reading. But yeah, um, let's just see what come out in the cards. Like I've been, I've been picking up on some heavy secret coming out about a father. Somebody finding out about their real father. Someone, someone was lying to them that was a father figure in their life. But they are about to find out the real truth when it comes to their real father. I also feel like they're, um, Julia, what? Oh. I also feel like, um, their father could have been very wealthy. This person could have had a lot of money, had a lot of properties. This person could have owned multiple businesses. This person could have been a, a, a very mature, grounded stable man and I also was picking up on the movie Baps where the two ladies went to the you know old man's house and um they kind of took care of him and he took care of them and when he finally passed away sorry about the screaming when he finally passed away he ended up giving them that nice huge home I feel like it's going to be one of those situations but I feel like um, the difference, the only difference about it is it's going to be, it's going to only be like, um, I want to say you were the only child or the only girl, you were the only child or the only girl. And I feel like he might have left you. His beautiful house. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective on the energy? I'm Ooh, on the energy I'm picking up on. What is this energy I'm picking up on with this father figure? This secret spirit. What is this? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Prince of Pentacles. I feel like something, either someone has been protecting this information or the situation has just been, has been really slowed down for you to reflect on. We also have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Prince of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like um, someone was trying to slow this situation down or there was some sort of protection around this situation when it came to finding out about this father figure or um, I feel like also three people could have been in cahoots when it came down to this. I feel like they were they were going towards someone very fast or they were doing something. They were trying to hurry up and do something at a fast pace before this came out. So I kind of feel like three people were slowed down. From trying to move at a fast pace when they came to going towards a Queen of Wands. Because the Ten of Pentacles is here too. I feel like 
this Queen of Wands is going towards this family situation. And I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is going to cause someone to be very emotionally fulfilled. This can also be money, like I said. Someone, someone has an inheritance. And there are three people in cahoots trying to slow this person down, trying to slow this, this Queen of Wands down from going towards this family and finding out about some sort of inheritance. But I feel like this Queen of Wands is very, very clever and very creative. They might also already know this. They have knowledge on this. They have wisdom on this situation. So it's kind of like, hmm, it's kind of like they're moving at a really smooth pace because they know people are trying to stop them or slow them down. But at the end of the day, I feel like this situation is protected. Yeah, we have the uh, lovers here, the two of swords, yep, and the six of wands. I don't know what that was. What was that? Oh, anyway. Yeah, we have someone that you're connected with is trying to cause stagnation, but it's not going to happen. You're still going to be victorious with finding this out. You're still going to be a victory. Yep, somebody's trying to cause confusion with the Seven of Cups. This could have been someone you were dating. Or this could have been someone you just had like some sort of connection with. It don't have to be love or anything. You could, like I said, this could have this could have been the person that raised you, the father that raised you. What else, spirit? Yeah, the two of cups. They don't want you guys to come together because they know the connection. It's like the connection of you coming together with your real father. It's like. Hmm. Okay, so I'm feeling like the man that raised you, right? Now this is this is like ew. Okay, so the man that raised you could have could have became attached to you a certain type of way as a child. And I don't think this was all about like really like loving you as far as daughterly wise or son wise. I feel like this person wanted some sort of commitment with you. Like this person could have been attracted to you physically, emotionally, and sexually. And this is probably why they was trying to cause some sort of confusion. Because I think your real father knew this. Your real father knew that the person that was raising you was sexually attracted to you. Yeah, we have the seven of swords. Yeah, somebody was lying. Or somebody had been lying about something. Yeah, this person has been lying about a situation and now they're in despair we have the nine of swords here they're they're in despair because now they're under judgment because someone found out the hermit car someone someone actually sat back and reflected on the situation and was getting downloads about this what else spirit someone was getting downloads about this like your ancestors have been talking to you, whispering to you in your ear. Yeah. Somebody wanted someone to invest in them with the Prince of Cups. Like this father could have wanted you to invest in them, give them all your time, your money, your energy, your effort. Like they wanted you to put effort and energy into them. Like all your effort, they wanted it to be towards them. But I feel like you walked away from this person. Yeah. Yeah, this person wanted you to do all your all their work for them so they didn't have to do anything. What else, spirit? Yeah, look at that. But this person really hated you. This person hated everything about you. 
They were very envious. They were very jealous of you. But they were attracted to you. Like sexually. They wanted some sort of connection or commitment with you. But I think you turned them down. Yeah. With the Six of Swords, you was kind of guided into calmer waters. You was guided away from this situation. Yeah, we had the chariot. Yeah, you move forward towards your happiness, the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, and then good news came in, or it's coming in. But this leaves somebody giving you the side eye with the Nine of Wands. Or this could be you feeling guarded after a situation ended abruptly with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, but you found a solution to continue being happy. And the Temperance cards at the bottom of the deck. Something is being back balanced out for you. Yeah, I feel like if this has anything to do with um, a father figure, I feel like you're going to find out about your real father. And I feel like there is some more, there is some more dark shit behind the situation with your real father and the, the man that raised you. Either this man hated you, either the person that raised you hated you, but was in love with you all at the same time, or this person really just wanted to just have control over you, where you were committed to them. I feel like they may have they they may have also been doing domination spells, like to keep you calling on them for this and that. And I, I feel like even though this sounds sick as fuck. I feel like that person liked to hear you call them daddy, even though you were saying it because you felt like that was your father. But to them, they took it in a in a a sick way, like ill. What else messages do you have for the collective spirit? What else messages do you have for the collective? Yeah, I feel like, like I said, I feel like the connection with you and your real father was supposed to have been came together, but someone was trying to block it and cause confusion, but we have friendship here. So I do see you guys going to be coming together. And I also see that you have been discernment. Like I said, you kind of already been in this energy of knowing the truth of a situation. But it's kind of like you was letting the situation come together on its own. We, like I said, we have discernment here. It says, first of all, I'm going to read the friendship card. It says, be with the ones who make you shine, who love you and really care. Keep those and let the others go. Yeah. This can be your real father coming in, showing you the love you never had before. Really coming in, showing you that they care. This is not like somebody coming in, being fake, phony, lying, trying to cause you to be confused. This person has real love for you. They really care about you. They missed you. They've been looking for you. They know you've been going through a lot of stuff. You know, they know you've been dealing with a lot. For some of you, they even knew that you lost your stability, you know, you could have been homeless, you lost a lot of money, you could have been just literally out here on your own, like, fending for yourself, and he knew this the whole time, but I feel like both of you were just waiting for divine timing to bring you two back together, because I feel like both of y'all knew that these people that were behind the scenes doing work were trying to cause confusion so that you both would never come together and you would never find out about him and he would never find out about you. But I feel like no matter what they were doing behind the scenes, it just seemed to keep backfiring on them. I'm going to read the discernment card now. It says, see the truth of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition, your intuition knows. Yeah, your intuition already been telling you about the situation. And then we have dignity. 
It says, take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and actions. Yeah. I feel like you guys have literally been standing up for yourself. You've been taking action on the things that are necessary. You haven't been letting anyone or nothing or anything hold you back. Thank you. You haven't been letting anyone or anything hold you back. You've been pretty much just going with the flow of the situation. And like I said, you're, you've been allowing it to come together with divine timing. We're going to get some more. I got hand sanitizer on her. What else messages do you have for the collective? Yeah, we have renewal, y'all. Look at this. You have, oh, I just had to chill. Look at this. You got these two people, like, these two angels pouring into this portal to help you two come back together. Like, you have the universe is helping you. Why do I feel so emotional? I want to cry. But... What else, spirit, man? Yeah, we have celebrate. Look at this, y'all. You're going to be celebrating with this. You're going to be celebrating about this, over this. One more, Spirit. One more. Yeah, we have knowing. Look at that. All, this, all that trying to pop out. One more, Spirit. One more. Yep, aspiration. Yep. I feel like you, 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 you kept going. Regardless of what people were saying what they were trying to tell you, what they were trying to confuse you with. You kept climbing to the top because you knew that there was some truth up there. See that? Where that face is, you kept climbing that ladder because you knew that there was some truth there. You, you, knew, the, you knew the truth. You felt it. And you're literally going to be shown that you were on point this whole time. What else, Spirit? What else messages do you have for the collective? Y'all, this, this message been banging me in my head all day. Like, I just, I feel like Spirit really wanted me to get this out because I could not stop thinking about the situation. Yeah, we have become a shift shaper. Yeah. You're probably becoming a shift shaper right now. And it says, do not fear the unknown. So some of you could still be having fear over a situation like maybe you feel like this could never happen or you'll never be able to meet him or this could be both of y'all energy maybe you guys feel like you would never get to come together because y'all already know these people are working every day hard as hell to stop this connection but i feel like you're being guided to come in a certain type of way because we have become a shift shaper here so you might got to, you know, you might got to change up some shit about yourself. I feel like, listen to this. I feel like some of y'all have to put on a certain mask for the time being, you know. Like some of y'all got to put on a certain type of mask every now and then. Kind of like so you can... You can look like you fit in a certain crowd when you walk through that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a it's a thing where right before you get ready to walk through that retarded-ass crowd, you put on that retarded-ass mask so you can look like everybody else. So won't nobody be able to identify the real you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's such and such. Ho, ho, ho. Nah. So, with that mask on, basically, it's like, oh, motherfucker, you don't know me. I'm just like y'all, you know? I'm just like you. You don't know me. Yeah, we have share your thoughts. I feel like both of y'all want to come together and share your thoughts. He might have a lot to tell you. You might have a lot to tell him. You guys might be, you know, you might, you guys might have certain boundaries when it comes to certain things. We have stay strong here. You both, you both have been staying strong. What else, spirit? Yeah, we up. We got the boundaries. 
I feel like he also wants to respect your boundaries. Like, he don't want you to feel like he's clouding your space or something. We also have be patient. And what else? And we also have seek your answers within. Yep. And we have surrender to the flow. So like I said, whoever this is, like I said, I feel like the person that raised you was trying to block all this from coming in. But I feel like you found a way to get through the whole situation to connect back with your real father. I also feel like you guys got help with this renewal. Like I said, look at this. We got these two people. It look like they pouring into this portal to bring you two together. You got one with this energy and the other with that energy. Like, both of these people are holding on to your energy, but they're pouring it into this portal where only you guys can, like, see it or come together inside that one portal there. You can probably talk to each other through that portal. You know, this person can make you have dreams. You can make them have dreams. They can see when you're crying. They can see when you're going through something. You can see the same about them. But I feel like this is going to be a renewal. You're, you're going to get back in contact with this person. Your, well, your real father. But I hope this helped y'all. And I'm just so glad I got that out. I'll probably be coming back with more messages. Let me see. I'll probably do love next. But y'all stay tuned. I'm out. Bye.